In this video, I'm going to show you some of my favorite free and paid apps to use to make YouTube thumbnails. So are you ready? Hey, go-getters, it's Salma Jafri. I'm the founder of YouTube Launchpad, the foundational course for growing your personal brand with video. If you want to increase your visibility, your credibility, and your profitability with YouTube, be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon, and let's begin. Spending time making YouTube thumbnails is going to pay off in terms of more people clicking on your YouTube video. So I think that spending that time and thinking about your thumbnail strategy is really crucial. And I have a bunch of videos that I've made recently on how to get the most out of your thumbnails. I'm gonna link to all of them right up here. Make sure you watch them at the end of this video. Let's get into the eight free and paid apps that you can use. And app number one is Snapseed. Now I did a tutorial on how to use Snapseed to make your thumbnails pop. You can make your entire thumbnails with just Snapseed. So that is a wonderful, wonderful app to use. Again, it's absolutely free. And I think that it really has a lot of functionality to make sure that your picture looks really good. So if you're putting your face on your YouTube thumbnails, then Snapseed is one of my top options to use to make YouTube YouTube thumbnails. The next app I want to mention is actually TubeBuddy. Now, a TubeBuddy can take a picture from your existing frame of your video and convert that into a YouTube thumbnail. If you already are using the TubeBuddy app and you have fun with that app, then that's a really easy way to make YouTube thumbnails. And you can also do that on desktop as well as on mobile. So you can use the TubeBuddy app to take screenshots from within your video of key moments and then add text and make that into your YouTube thumbnail. The next app that I use all the time is Canva. I'm sure you've heard of it. And I have a very detailed custom tutorial on how I use Canva to make my YouTube thumbnails. But what I really love about Canva, and again, it's absolutely free to use for the use that I'm using it for. Um, the thing that I really love about it is that it can really show you a uh, scaled down version as well. So you can really shrink the, the thumbnail design down to what I like to do 10% to see if my design is actually gonna work on a small screen because people need to be able to see the text, read the expression, read the text, and make sense of your thumbnail in a smaller setting. Canva also has a lot of graphical elements, and I typically like to use those to add more punch and value. Sometimes I add logos of different brands and logos of, of software that I'm talking about, and it's really, really easy to do all of that in Canva. Another app that you can use to make thumbnails, which is more of a website, is called Placeit. Now, I also did a full tutorial on how to use Placeit, but the thing that I love best about it is that it has these custom thumbnail templates. And those tem uh, those templates, sorry, really enable you to see the restrictions. One of the things that I find is people put too much text on their thumbnail. And Place it actually limits the amount of text that you can put on your thumbnail. So I think that is a good uh, non if you're if you're not a designer, that is a really good app. Um, sorry, a good website to start off with. It is paid, um, so I did do a tutorial, and you do get a twenty percent discount if you want to use my link. All the links to all the apps that I'm talking about are gonna be in the description below. So you can go and check out Placeit. It has templates and it has all these design elements. So it enables you to just sort of plug and play your YouTube thumbnail templates and you can make them really fast with Placeit. The next one I have on the list is PicMonkey. I don't personally use it, but it is one of the top apps to use to make YouTube thumbnails. And I think that one of the best things about it is that it has some additional features which Canva either doesn't have or Canva doesn't allow you to use as freely. So go and experiment with using PicMonkey and see if you like it, and then that would be a good alternative to using Canva. The next one is not in perhaps an app all in itself, but I find it crucial to making YouTube thumbnails. It's called remove.bg, and I really find it handy to either take out the background or swap different backgrounds in. And I think it's a really cool way to make a YouTube thumbnail with an interesting backdrop. So if you just want a cool or a funky looking backdrop for your YouTube videos, or you wanna insert your own backdrop to your YouTube videos, then remove.bg is an app that I absolutely think that you can use. And I don't know why I'm calling it an app. It's a website, so you can go there and use it. All right, the next one on the list is InShot. Again, absolutely free. This is an app in this case. And InShot is a great way to make 
videos. It's a great way to make photos and it's a great way to mash up both of both those things together. So it's a great app to use to make YouTube thumbnails with. And again, you can add text, you can add um, little stickers, you can add graphics to make your YouTube thumbnails pop and be visually appealing. And the final app that I have for you is actually Keynote or PowerPoint. You can use presentation software to make thumbnails. Just make sure that you put the document settings to 16 by nine so that it matches the dimensions for a YouTube video and then go nuts, do whatever kind of designing. Just make sure that at the end of your designing, you shrink it down to see how it's gonna look in a mobile space. And really you can do backgrounds, you can insert your pictures, you can insert graphics, you can insert text, you can do all of that in presentation software so you can just use that to make your YouTube thumbnails. I would love for you to share some of the YouTube thumbnails that you make inside my Facebook group. If you haven't joined it yet, I'll put the link down in the description. It's called Personal Branding with Video. Come there, share the thumbnails that you're making and maybe ask for feedback on how to make them better. That's a great way to learn and grow together with the YouTube community. My question for you today is which app are you going to be using to make YouTube thumbnails? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you are just starting out with YouTube, then make sure that you sign up for my YouTube masterclass, which is gonna guide you on how to start a YouTube channel with zero views and zero subscribers and get your strategy on point. I'll see you in the next video.